friends welcome back so today I'm bringing you guys another video and this is gonna be another tutorial using the Kat Von D Mi Vida Loca remix palette I'm sorry I'm blinding you right now blinding you <laughs> I did do another look using this palette and I'll link that one down below that one was much more smoky and dramatic even though this one also is kind of smoky and dramatic but that one is just over the top it's just like a black smoky eye with some warmth in the crease so I'll link that down below but I wanted to do something even more fall appropriate and I just wanted to show like how versatile this palette is you can really get so many looks with this one palette if you guys can pick up this palette I highly suggest it I am just so in love with this palette I even think I want to do another tutorial so that's like three tutorials using the same palette, which I never really do, but I'm just that in love with this palette. So the look that I came up with today is extremely fall appropriate because it has a lot of cranberry going on, it's extremely smoky, and it does have some bronze on the lid, and of course you have your berry tone lips, so I just feel like this look for fall is perfect, and I hope you guys like it, so if you want to know how I got this look, then please just keep on watching. So of course we're starting by priming our face. I'm using my Nivea Men aftershave balm like always and of course my Dr. Brandt Pores No More primer. You guys heard me talk about this in my favorites video. I adore this primer. I feel like it is the best primer for pulling for pilling for filling in the pores and I love the Nivea Men aftershave balm you guys already knew this then I'm going in with Too Faced Born This Way foundation mine is in the color honey and I feel like it matches me on my face perfectly but my face is like a hair lighter than my body from all the exfoliation that I do so I feel like it's a little bit light on camera but in person it's really not that big of a deal but you know the camera just accentuates everything but anyways I'm just dotting this all over my face and of course blending it in with a damp beauty blender which is what I always use for my foundation you guys already know this if you have seen any of my previous videos then I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera and I prime my eyes with my Bobbi Brown longwear eye base which is one of my favorites and then I'm going in with this bright pink shade from the Kat Von D Mi Vida Loca remix palette it's called Swoon and I used this in my crease with a super fluffy brush I believe this is a MAC 224 and it is so crazy pigmented that I just couldn't even dip my brush in there twice I had to dip it once in there to do both my eyes so that's how pigmented it is it really is just pigmented like I just said <laughs> then I'm going in with the color destroyer which is a little bit more of like a watermelon pink shade I wanted this to be very cranberry and smoky esque so I felt like mixing the two pink shades made it a lot more close to cranberry because <laughs> it's of course not cranberry but once we go in with some other shades it'll give it more of a cranberry feel and then I'm going in with that original MAC 224 just to blend everything out then we're gonna go in with this color that the Lord knows I can't pronounce but I will attempt for you guys um, harp harpsichord yeah that was probably really bad but it's just like a coppery bronze shade and I'm taking a MAC 224 any flat brush will do and I'm just placing this on like the inner two-thirds of my lid because of course I'm gonna deepen up my outer V so it is gonna get covered up with black anyways so speaking of black we're taking black metal which is a super matte black not metallic so don't get confused <laughs> and I'm taking it with a outer V brush by Makeup Geek I believe this is the outer V brush and I'm just putting that on my outer V just like the name of the brush suggests and I'm gonna put it a little bit into the crease not too much and definitely not too high because we don't want to take that up too far so it doesn't come out muddy and you guys know you know what that looks like then I'm going in with the color rewind which is kind of like a satin cranberry shade I didn't want to use this in the crease because I usually don't like to use anything but matte in my crease but I felt like this is what would really give us the cranberry feel that I was looking for so I went in with that and I actually found that it works really really well so I definitely don't regret it then I'm going in with my NYC liquid liner doing my wing liner I will link my wing liner video in the description box I go way more into detail and then you can actually see me doing it because I honestly go off camera all the time <laughs> then I'm going in with this matte yellow shade called molder yeah I think it's called molder and I'm taking it with a flat brush and just applying that on my brow bone I felt like this look kind of needed a brow bone highlight I usually don't do that but for this look we did it <laughs> then I'm moving on to concealer I'm using my NC 30 Pro Longwear concealer by Mac and just applying it everywhere you guys always see me apply my concealer and then of course blending it out with that same damp beauty blender we use for foundation and I feel like this concealer I'm falling in love with it again all over again because it is just 
so full coverage and at the same time it just looks so flawless on the skin so I'm really loving this concealer lately if you can't tell I use it all the time then I'm going in with my Laura Mercier translucent loose setting powder and just baking everywhere that I put that concealer this really just gives me the best finish to my makeup and because I have oily skin I feel like it just locks everything into place so I do usually like to do this pretty much any time that I wear makeup you know <laughs> then I'm going in with Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara you already know the obsession just coating my top lashes with this for now and prepping them for lashes or for false lashes I should say and these are the Lily Lashes in Mykonos you guys also heard me talk about these in my favorites video the obsession is so real I literally cannot get over them so I'm just applying these with some tweezers any tweezers or any lash applicator or even your fingers whatever you want to apply your lashes with <laughs> obviously I can't handle the beauty of these lashes I honestly have to say they are my favorite lashes at the moment now I'm just going to take this brush from the Angel Marino collection with Morphe and just wipe away all that powder that we had on our face. Of course we're not going out looking like this. I actually prefer this brush to the dual fiber brush that I've been using in my other videos just because I feel like it really gets the powder off and trust me when you're baking you really want to get the powder off. So I feel like this brush does a good job of that. Then I'm going to go ahead and use my Marc Jacobs highlighter in blacker, the same black eyeliner I use all the time, and just apply it in my waterline and a little bit on my lower lash line. Who am I without black liner, honestly? Then I'm going in with Destroyer again, that watermelon pink shade with a Sigma E15 flat definer brush, and I'm just going to smudge that out so that it can be smoky on the lower lash line just like it is on the upper lash line. We definitely want to have a pretty smoky I look right now <laughs> then I'm going in with this color called skulls which is just like a shimmery icy white shade it reminds me a lot of my makeup forever me 122 snow shade that I love for my inner corner so I'm just applying this into my inner corner for some brightness and then I'm using my Too Faced better than sex on my lower lashes as well and you guys all know how to do this I'm sure just apply to your lower lashes and these are going to be the finished eyes I think this look for fall is just so perfect it's so appropriate for fall and that's why I really wanted to do this so now I'm going into my Kat Von D shade and light palette and I'm taking the middle shade and I'm just going to go ahead and contour my face with that the brush that I'm using by the way is the Sigma F35 tapered highlighter brush but I never use it for highlighter I don't particularly like it for highlighter but I actually adore it for contouring and for bronzing so don't always think that you are kind of restricted to use a brush however you know it says you need to use it use it however you want to use it then I'm going in with a MAC mineralized skin finish natural in sun power it's a super warm bronze shade and I'm just going around the parameters of my face with that then for blush I'm using fetching by Tarte this is from the Tarte bling it on blush palette and I have been really liking this blush palette I always get the Tarte blush palettes because they're such a good deal and Tarte's blushes are so so good like the formula is amazing so I always get these blush palettes but I really like the colors in this one particularly then I'm going back into the shade and light palette by Kat Von D taking the leftmost shade which is the grayer tone shade all the names will be linked down below but I don't know them offhand so I'm taking that shade and contouring my nose with it when you contour your nose you definitely want something a little bit lighter and a lot more gray toned then I'm going in with the darkest shade in the shade and light palette and just deepening up my cheek contour because I feel like once you apply blush, this always just like washes out the contour. You know what I mean? Then because I really want it to glow, I'm going to go in with Blush Copper by Becca. This is a limited edition shimmering skin perfecter. But if you wanted to get your hands on this, this is available in the Champagne Glow palette that Becca made in collaboration with Jaclyn Hill. So, and speaking of, this is Champagne Pop, also by Jaclyn Hill and Becca, also available in the Champagne Glow palette. So I'm just using this to highlight my face all over. I heard somebody say that we might as well use it while it's available and it is a really stunning highlighter so I'm definitely going to use it as much as I can. <laughs> then I'm going in with this ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the color More Better and I felt like this was perfect for this look. This lip color was exactly what I wanted. It was a berry shade but it was more of like a raspberry as opposed to just like a very plum berry so I loved it with this look and once you've got your lipstick on this look is complete thank you guys so much for watching I really hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did don't forget to subscribe if you're not already don't forget to follow me on Instagram snapchat and Twitter all that information will be linked down below and I'll see you guys in my next video bye
So the look that I came up with today is extremely ro- No, it's not. No, it's not. Why did I say that? <laughs> so if you guys- Blur, blur, blur. So the look that I came up for- I come- What? 